Welcome back to the channel guys. Today joins us for a new series where we're at Concord Park Golf Club. This is a place that I started and we're going to be challenging one of the pros here, Rob, in a new series called Meet and Beat the Pro, which is a little bit rich because I've just seen the way he's played them first two holes. I'm a bit worried, but we're going to have a five hole vlog. We're going to be finding a little bit about, you know, the pros that we've got in the UK and the facilities they're at. And I think this is going to be a really interesting video from conversations that we're having. It'll be fun, I think. So I'll let you tee off first. You're going to show us the way. See what you've got, guys. We're starting on a 305 <laughs> yard par four downhill. It looks like Rob's going for an iron. Oh, it's like a missile. Just watch that we'll marker pole and you'll see a ball appear. Right, I've got to follow that. He looks like a good golfer. Mm, good role model going up, guys. We have actually crossed paths before, <laughs> haven't we, as, as juniors? We have. You were the one I looked up to as a junior at Wortley. We both spent a couple of years together at, at Wortley Golf Club in Sheffield. Slightly different haircuts and slightly different outfits now, I think. Yeah, we're a little bit larger, aren't we? Around I'm waist. a lot larger. Set this one quick. Oh, swing, pal. Just take that little bounce right. Another member of the right. three holes. 95 yards to the middle, 86 front edge. Although, if I'm honest with you, it's like a 60 yard shot and let it run downhill, isn't it? So, Rob, there'll be a lot of people that's not been to Sheffield, probably not played Concord Park Golf Club. How would you describe your golf club and the golfer that you're trying to attract here? <laughs> um, I think we are the opposite of everybody else. Yeah. So we're not here, I don't think, to compete with all the other golf clubs. I think we are here to offer um, the average golfer yeah. a facility that they can be relaxed at. Yeah. Um, I mean, the stigma's always been around golf. They're uncomfortable places to go. They're uncomfortable places to get involved with. We want people to come. No dress code. Yeah. We want people to bring the dog and walk the dog around. We want people to come and share clubs. We want people to be able to just turn up and have fun and have a laugh. Yeah. Um, which most people are scared of doing at a normal golf club. I guess that's one of the reasons that attracted me and my dad here. I started golf here and it was the fact that, you know, obviously my dad wanted somewhere to, to learn me how to play. And there was, you know, Warren as well, yeah. the, the head pro here. He's always got a smile on his face. I, I actually try to perceive myself as like Warren. He's always happy. He always wants to see you. He always wants to chat. And you can't get a better welcome than that if you're a non-golfer, no. can you? No, he's Makes one you feel of the best dead front of houses in Sheffield Golf, to be fair. 100%. Right, I'm going to knock this on green. You sure? And then we're going to carry on. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive, guys. <laughs> um, what distance did you have? Because I'm not 95 to the middle, it is, pal. But it is downhill, so it depends whether or not you're landing it on or running it in. Well, I'll tell you, I used to play as a junior, and one thing you can't do is you've got to be absolutely perfect if you're trying to land this you've on, you? have got to be you? perfect. It is one of the high stroke indexes, this, so I always feel like you've got to play it like the majority, which is probably along the floor, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to try and land this short and let it roll down. I think that could be a good line. Good swing, I like that. Yeah, that's got me worried. One of the things I said to you as well off camera, Rob, and I said to you, what do you think your strength is here? What is the best part or what, or what is the best thing? And you said something funny, but was, it- Was it, the bar not the right answer? It were, <laughs> it were, it were. You said the beer. The beer. And I agree because what I went to a golf club recently to do a coaching day for some juniors that didn't have a pro. I was speaking to a lot of local people and they didn't realize that they could just come and have a drink here. Yeah, I mean, we are, to be fair, I mean, we're the centre of the community around here now, so we are in the middle of the park, we are open to everybody, and we are, I mean, we, we pride ourselves and we want everybody to come and play golf, you don't have to be a member, you don't have to have played golf before. What, what a great place to come and have a drink, guys, if you're passing, you know, obviously, there's football pitches around here, there's a local park, you are welcome to come and have a drink at your local, you know, golf clubs, don't think that you've got to be a golfer to go and have a drink there and sit outside. But that's not 95% of golf clubs, is it? That's 5%. That is. We are, we are the 5% for everybody else. Oh, 
oh, it's getting a bit uh, competitive all of a sudden. Close, isn't it? <laughs> what I liked as well, we were playing down the first couple of rolls, weren't we? And there's an 83-year-old chap you've started 83 coaching. 83-year-old just started playing golf. I've never seen as many fist pumps ever on a golf course. He loves it. <laughs> and you've started coaching him? Yeah, he's a uh, decided in his later years that golf is the future. <laughs> Which can't fault, really. Brilliant. He, uh, I bet he wish he'd pick game up a bit sooner, hasn't he? To be fair, yeah. Practice session and a pint of John Smith's, though, so he's, a, uh, he's well away. Better than going to Meadowall, isn't it? Now, although I put this to 15 foot, I'm still the first person to put. So we could be in for a tough match. Must try harder, pal. <laughs> I think I'm going to need to make some of these. It's going to be a little bit harder game than playing James Robinson. Well, that we can guarantee. Which I'm still not having uh, much success with. I'd take it away, fella. Steady part. Good for. Very good for. Left in. Yes, please. Oh, I thought you got me there. Mm. Tap it in. In fact, you can have that. Oh, you're a very nice man. <laughs> Let's oh. go to a friendly start. Friendly start. So Rob's <laughs> kept the honour. We've got a par five. You see the marker pole up there, which is about 230, 240 yards. And uh, he's going to drive it. Oh, lovely. You've got that on a piece of string today. It feels all right today, Paul. That's a great shot. I'm not that confident that I'm going to hit a driver, I'm afraid, oh, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to opt for an hybrid. Get in the comments, guys, if you've uh, met Warren and Rob, pros up here, if you've had lessons with them, and just share with other subscribers what kind of guys they are. Warren might be a bit worried now. Yeah, very worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a lovely guy. You can't fault him. Just left-handed. Yeah. I'm sure he'll want to have me a game at some point. Well, no, he? When he sees how bad I'm that. playing, he'll be... He'll be well up for this. Practicing. I'll get some practicing for him. He needs to hold a, a bit on that line or I'm going to be at trees. We'll see. He'll be fine, that. So we've got 240 to middle at green. I reckon Rob's got maybe 200, so he's definitely going to be going for it. Oh, I'm in a bit of a, a dilemma here. I'm going to hit four, try and get up to apron and give myself a chance for an up and down. I don't really want to feel like... I think I've got a club in my bag to get two foot unless I push the hybrid out, but it's going to bring a lot of bother into play. Let's go four iron. Oh, sit down. Sit. That's sit. going to need a friendly bounce. That might have got a dog walker, that pump. That could be in Concord that Park. could be in Concord Park. A little provisional, it's a big guys. Target. There is a chance it might have come out, but <laughs> pulled that a little bit. But I better do an actual drop. If you'd ever do that by accident, guys, you can do the drop again. I dropped it above knee height. Sometimes forget myself and I don't play much. In fact, this time I might as well go for hybrid, aren't I? Yeah, have a go. Similar. Better. A little better. Right, we're going to need a little bit of help from God, I think, on that one. What have you got in, Rob? We've got 200 to the middle. It's a little six iron. Ooh. Tell you what. Might have followed you there, Paul. A little reload for Rob. It does get tight up there. Very tight up there. I think I might be all right with the first one. Great shot. That's the one. 
Excellent. It's always safer, guys, just to provisional That'll if you're in us. doubt. So, a little bit of luck again. I'll tell you what, I might be uh, joining here at this rate. Can't lose a ball. What we got in? 81. That is Rob's provisional up on the green. We haven't looked for his first one yet, but I think if mine's in, then he should be in as well. Get up. Go, 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 go. Oh, great, sweet. That's not bad. Very nice. So Rob's found his first one, so he's hitting on for free. Zip. Oh, is it a good shot there? Well done. Great shot. Right, Rob, I think I'm going to need this one by the looks of it. I'm afraid so. Great shot. What's your sort of best score round here then? Um, the first year I came, I shot 61 in Captain's Day. Wow. And then DQ'd myself so that I couldn't win, so I thought that was a bit unfair. That is uh, a nice pro. We've not played a, uh, <laughs> not played 18 holes many times. It's, is it a 67 here? 67 now, yeah. yeah. Oh, a little oh. bit high. Great try. Great try. Right, he's got this for the win. A bit shorter than the last one. Oh, well done, solid. Don't mind losing to birdies. No. Well done. Good standard. So, stroke one, par four, 405 yards. And uh, it's your honour, Rob. Whoa. Iron. Iron. That's a One surprise. Up, we defend the lead, haven't we? Missile. I love your ball flight. Comes out hot, doesn't it? You've got a lovely, uh, strong flight. This is a rare occasion where I'll be in driver today because. It's almost like, I remember playing this as a junior, like you can miss this to the right. This as far right as you want. And you can end up on the other fairway, so it's... I almost just aimed out tree line here, Rob. Because I'm very, very right, it's straight. Just give it a flash pop. 350 in the direction. That's my best drive, I think, of it in a long time. Right, Rob, how far you got in? I've got, I've got 140, but it'll bounce a little bit, this, so. Try and just hit a little, little wedge towards the front, poke it in. I can't even see your drive yet, so that's a, uh, a worry. It's a long way down. Lovely strike. That's, that's an nice error enough. again, straight at it. Just took a little bounce to the left. Fairways and greens. If you're wondering why Rob's here, guys, if you ever play and look at the slope you've got on this hole, you've really got to aim up this right hand side to get, if you want to hit the middle of the fairway Only anyway. You get middle of the fairway with the slope. I've got One... to have confidence to start hitting my driver a bit more. Cause... You've just got to go out socially and just do it, haven't you, sometimes? Yeah. 105. Yeah. I think we're going to go... Probably 54. an 80-yard shot, you know. What's the greens like receptive-wise? Because I've not played it for a long this time. This one is firm. Yeah. Some of the others are getting softer. Right. But I would, I, if I was caddying, I would tell you probably 80 yards short right and just let it feed on. Right, OK. It's so long, actually short of the green? Yeah, short of the green, long left dead. Right, OK. So short of the green and just let it feed down and on. That's what I'm going to try and do. Come on. And a packing coach and a tech up caddy, and I think that's all over it. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, great shot. Rob's just lining his up. This green's looking lovely. A little last at the moment. I'm just trying to grow them out a little bit so I can do a bit of work on them. Yeah. Get that a better coverage. Are you all the this year? We're looking at it, yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, one of the necessary tasks, but we just want to make sure there's enough surface first to 
let them recover really. Yeah. I mean, we unfortunately, we can't spend the chemicals that some of the big, or budget on the chemicals that the big courses can. Yeah. Go a little bit more natural sometimes. I suppose that's how they keep the green fees down a bit, is, uh, <laughs> is cutting them sort of costs. It's on its way. Oh, oh. <laughs> left it a bit. Right. Put for birdie. Come on. Get in. Oh, it's a tough school. It's I remember that school. break from being a junior. Inside knowledge. You never told me about that. <sighs> go on, you might swear. as well have a put. No, go on, you're all right. So in this series, Rob, we ask all the pros to give a 30-second tip to subscribers. What is your 30-second tip? Um, I thought we'd go chipping. Um, so like, you teach as much golf as what I do. I think we see a lot of golfers when they are, well, playing golf, bat, bat ball sport players, really, always trying to hit the golf ball in the direction they want the ball to go. So there's always in chipping this kind of lean back, floor first or thin. We all want to hit the green first time every time with a chip shot, don't we? So my age old favourite is a little action where we just follow and walk. Make sure we turn the chest to it, make sure the weight's going forward. It's quite a nice way just to tidy people's chip shots up. Oh, I like that. There you go. I'm going to test that one myself, test guys. That one later. And you just hit it at 29 seconds. Did I? So you got within the 30 <laughs> second mark. Well done. There you go. Yep. I've never ever tested that drill, so I'm going to try it, Rob. So you do you step after the ball's moved? I just swing and then just follow the golf club with the right. golf club, yeah. So swing back. There's so many chipping faults we see with players, and for me, this is one of the most universal drills you can possibly have. I've got to admit, you know, even as a, a regular playing golfer, more than most people, sometimes I catch myself in this position, and I'm feeling as though I've, I've got weight stepping I think the natural thing to do, if you play sport, you always want to position yourself to move the ball where you want to go. Yeah. Now, we see it day in, day out on lessons. The problem on the internet, you don't know if the drill suits you. Yeah. Whereas this, to me, this really helps anybody with short game. Look at that. No, don't go in. Don't go in. <laughs> You're going to catch me using this on course. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 294 yards, par four. And it's the easiest all on the course, is it? Is it stroke eight? Oh, no, it's not. Stroke 15, stroke close. Stroke 15. He's close. Got driver. He's going to take the honour. It's ready golf. The guys in front are going to let us hit up. Um, you're going for it. Yeah. I can just, in my old age, squeeze one out there just about, I think. But, uh, yeah. Very trusting, aren't they, in front? Yeah. Just give Obviously them a second not seeing to get going. To be fair, they're probably safe where they are. Yeah, middle of fairway. <laughs> middle of fairway. <laughs> Better get driving. Easy. Out. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I'll tell you what. What a line. Is it pitched over? Oh, I don't know if it's pitched over or in the bunker. There's a bunker basically, just sort of short right of the green. It, and that that was straight at the flag. Could be good that guess. And I don't know if it pitched over the bunker or short, but what do you reckon it is to carry that bunker? Uh probably 290 through the 290. air. It probably plays a little bit longer than I think what the yardage says, yeah. You look like you're barely Almost eating that. always in to win this hole. It's a bit of a cut. It's all right. I think we might be sort of pin eye ish, but it's I've seen the best it bounce. Shot from there. You're better there than left. Very nice. That will be safety drive. Safety drive. Second serve. Yeah. <laughs> so Rob's a long way up there. Um, I think it looks like he's just missed on the left side of that bunker. So just front at green. 67 yards I've got in. Really did bail on that one. Yeah, nicely done. Conservative. Give myself a putt. Right. Nice little pitch. And a chance for birdie. Hmm. Put the pressure on me again, Paul. Tees and greens. Oh, it's a lovely shot. 
I'll tell you what, this is uh, the highest standard of game that I've played in a few weeks. Uh, listen, you used to play with Robbo, aren't you? <laughs> I wouldn't usually be uh, fighting to stay level at one under. I don't mind saying we must be two best juniors to come out of work with, aren't we? <laughs> oh, he might bite at that one. I don't mind that. Let's have a look. He'll have him, he'll be down here next week for a video, That's fine. won't he? Listen, we'll have him. <laughs> Get up. Oh, go on. Oh. oh, great try. Take it away, pal. Great four. Great four. I don't mind admitting, I'm not 100% confident over these. Well I don't done. really know anybody that is. Well done. Top man. Nine pull, our last hole in this vlog, 301 yards. Again, another drivable par four. Rob, with the, the way I started the first two holes, I would have took getting to this hole and still being in with a chance of getting a half. <laughs> <laughs> Tell so you I'm, what, that's a nasty flag that is behind that bunker. I'm going to be having a go with drive. I don't know what you're thinking. Are you going to lay up? I feel like very <laughs> negative in it. Now, come on, I've got to give you a go. I've got to give you a I go. I thought you were going to go for a five iron there. I mean, the right way to play this in a medal it's is definitely probably Definitely the right iron. way to play, but... We've been friends a long time. I can't hear uh, you. You can't do, do me dirty like that. I can't that. do you dirty like that. That's not fair, is it? I like this. Uh, what's the idea between this left and low swing drill then? Um, I've always got the golf club stuck behind me. So yeah. I've always been a blocker and a hooker. And it just lets me feel the golf club a little bit more in front. So I try and fade it really now. I'm going to try that on my yeah. next practice thing. I've never tried that Get before. Get you in for a lesson this afternoon, pal. Don't panic. <laughs> Right there, that lone tree. Oh, we could have talked him into something here. Tell you what, I think I've opened the door there, fella. He's got to go over a bunker I think and I've under a tree. I think I've opened the door there. <laughs> Just while, uh, any chance of getting on course this afternoon? For yeah, yeah. So the video with Lee, guys, you might have seen that where we got him playing with some 169 pound Ram clubs, doing a bit of a comparison. I'm going to be giving him a bit of coaching if that's allowed. I just want to show him how to line up. Not a problem. Is that all right? You bring him up, not a problem at all. Always and basically, up, yeah. subscribers mentioned we played a few holes last week and he was literally like everything, he would line up here. Yeah. And I just want to sort of get him aiming square. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, it's perfect. Listen, I'm more than happy for people to come up here and do a bit of practice. I won't be charging him. It's just literally a, 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 fr a favour to a friend. I like that. Um, I like that. Food to pro and partner. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Off 36. Right. Let's unleash. Social. Go. Go. Hit that well, you know. It'd be interesting to see how far that goes. I think that's through. That might be trap, you know. Mm. That's a great tee shot. That's a good drive, guys. I tell you. found something. I'm looking forward to see how close found that something. is. found something. Because if it's only 311 yards, I can't be far away. I'm glad it's only five holes now. So Rob's <laughs> just in the trees. I think he's got a line through. And I'm about another 20 yards. I'm just in front of this bunker. Luckily, I didn't go in it, so... Oh, he's played a lovely shot. I'll tell you what, he can play, can't he? Right, let's go to get inside that. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Ah, it's a put off. Put off. Did it land quite short, that? You just checked a little bit. Did it, it was a. Uh... It was a little unlucky not to release. This is unfortunately one of the slightly wetter greens. Yeah. Otherwise, I think you'd have uh, you'd have right. been in a little bit tighter than what I'd have liked you. This is a must. Must make. A must. Must make. I'm thinking firm right off. I like that. Let's see. Pick my spot just. Halfway. Oh, 
Oh, guys, what a standard. Well, I'll give myself half Great a chance. To me. Oh. Playoff. What you like at pool? Oh, I'll take you on at that if you want. Fancy a game of pool? Do you have a game of pool for it? <laughs> no one on YouTube's <laughs> ever seen me play pool. Is that a... Is that a proper golf playoff? That I spotted a pool Quick table. Game of nine ball. <laughs> Only joking. Got to be a nearest pin, on it, guys. Yeah, we're going to go and have a nearest pin. And I'll tell you what, Rob. This is one of my favourite holes as a junior at you. I've got to be fair. It, it's a lovely little picture over the valley. Not it's, an easy one. No. Not how, an easy how one. How far is it? Is it about eighty yards? It's about ninety yards. Yeah. For you, it's like a little eighty yard flick. Yeah. 80 so, yard flick, just, just anywhere a little bit outside mine would be nice. We're going to have a nearest pin to finish the vlog, um, and then we're going to go and finish with a pint. Not one would have. And in fact, I'm going to show you the outside area they've got here at Concord, because if you're not golfers, or you've got you know friends and family that live close to golf, you've got to get them up here. I think it's one of the you know, best sort of beer gardens in the area, Definitely. isn't Sunday it? Sunday afternoon as well, we've got a live act on every Sunday, which is always busy. I'd say, yeah, it's a good pint as well. Yeah. 90 yards. What could go wrong, yeah? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I am actually feeling a bit of this pressure. This will bring you a little inner amateur out, this. we we'll good bit red, no breathing. <laughs> I remember as a junior, like, you know, pressure of trying to get over here. Oh. It would make or break your round, this, as a junior. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that they all want to come and play in a lesson to see whether or not they can get over the valley. Yeah. But no one I wants used to, to love when Warren used to bring us down here and enter a lesson for a nearest pain. Easiest miles bar in the world, weren't it, to Winston? <laughs> oh, what great memories. Just tee it down a bit. Oh, Tell you what, the pressure, serious. I feel like a junior it's again. Serious. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Well, I'll tell you what. Come on, be good. I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, it's tidy. I mean, it's on. It's tidy. It, it's not the closest shot in the world, but... It's 15 feet, it's 20 feet, isn't it? I'll just zoom in on that one. You can see it there, just uh, on the front of the green. But it's on, it's there. There's going to be some heartbreak somewhere here, I guess. It's a very, very, very good standard. I like it. Ooh, oh, he's got some zig. That's tight. That is tight. That's we could tight. be pacing it. Oh, have you got something to measure with? <laughs> so, there they are, guys. We've decided we're going to have a gentleman's half, aren't we? Not quite a meet and beat, guys. I think, I we'll think, lay, uh, I think it's going to get a bit childish if we start... Can we settle this over a pint upstairs? Start pacing these out. So we're going to sell it over a pint. We'll have a rematch. <laughs> that could be a good shout, actually. <laughs> So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog at Concord Park Golf Club in Sheffield with Rob Calderbank. I must say, Rob, really enjoying your golf at the yes. minute. You're playing really nice. You too, Paul. Nice to see you. Uh, it's Long been a time. pleasure to have a game. Yeah. I think I think I'm going to come and just play social with you a bit. It's been Pop nice up, to have a fella. game. You're more than welcome. Um, and I hope you have a good winter. Um, yes. I hope you get some good comments from members and obviously... Yeah, I hope they enjoy it. Hopefully get a few few people on road who come yeah. and uh, say hello. Yeah, find a few. We'll take them on. Guys, if you're enjoying this series and you want me to feature at your golf club, have a word with your pro, see if he's interested, and let's meet him. Let's meet him, find out what he's about, find out about your golf club, and give him a game, and hopefully he's not as good as Rob. I don't know about that. <laughs> Guys, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll be seeing you in a few days' time at 2 o'clock on Thursday. Bye.